Hey everyone, Brian Porter here. We're going to talk a little bit about guitar necks and specifically flat sawn and quarter sawn. So I'm going to show you some differences between the two. I'm going to show you some examples between the two. Now I'll start with flat sawn. Flat sawn is going to have more of the wavy type grain. So I've got a flat sawn piece of maple here. You can see kind of the grains. This is a roughed neck blank. So there's some planar marks and some saw marks on the other side. But you can see the grains kind of wander wander left and right. There's nothing straight about them. They kind of move all over the place. If you take a look at specifically, we're going to focus on the end grains of these pieces. If you look at the end grain on the flat sawn, you can see all sorts of variations in the way that it's shaped. And this particular blank is sitting fairly straight, which is good. But sometimes on the flat sawn, they're going to follow that grain pattern. They're going to, they're going to twist and they're going to warp. Not all the time. So if you find a flat sawn neck, if you're building a guitar or if you're looking for a guitar in the shop. The, the more wild the grains are and the more curvy the grains are, it might mean that you have a neck that could be possibly twisting. Not always the case. Again, each piece of wood is going to be different, but that's a look again at the end grain of what flat sawn would be. Now let's compare it to a really nice piece of quarter sawn maple. Now this is a reject neck blank because we have knots in the middle here, but you can see on the end there, Hopefully that comes through. Yeah, it looks like it's catching on the camera. Very cool pattern. That's a clear indication of quarter sawn maple. In general, you can see the grains are very straight on this piece of wood. And then specifically, when I get into the end grain on this neck blank, you can see there, very, very straight, very, very vertical. This, this neck blank has been sitting in our cold shop and then in our hot shop, depending on the time of year, all the way from zero degrees to 110 degrees here, and it is dead straight and it's been sitting here for years. So that is a very good sign for me when I'm choosing a neck. So let's take a look at one of our older necks, which is quarter sawn. And again, I'm trying to find the best neck when I'm building. Um, I'm not building as much anymore, but I'm trying to find the best neck possible, the straightest neck possible. So can, consider that if you take your, your neck blank and put it down on the floor and it's already moving and it's not flat, uh, probably shouldn't build a guitar with it. Um, keep that in mind as you're choosing that. If you're looking for brand new lumber, take a look down the end and make sure that piece is straight and it's not doing this. Um, so here's a look at the quarter sawn neck blank from the end. You can see the vertical end grains there. Now, this is a two piece neck, so uh, two different pieces of quarter sawn maple. <coughs> Excuse me, but if you look down the back, you can see the telltale signs of the quarter sawn pattern there. I'll run it this way so you can kind of see that. And also on the fretboard, very beautiful quarter sawn maple on that. So it, and it shows up really nice on the headstock. This is a pretty high grade piece of quarter sawn. They're not always this elaborate, but really if you look down, down the back of the neck and you see vertical grains, that's a good sign. That's a good sign you're gonna have a stable neck. Now there's all sorts of varying opinions and I'm sure in the comments below, I'm going to get opinions on which is better, which is worse. Um, you know, people have said, well, oh, quarter sawn is brighter, flat sawn is, is more dull. And, and sometimes depending on the density of the wood, that can be the case for either. And that's just in my experience. So when you're picking out a neck, if you see quarter sawn maple, that's what it means. If you see quarter sawn neck, that's what it means. Typically you're going to have straighter grains. That neck's going to be a little bit more stable. It may not move quite as easily as a flat sawn neck when you're adjusting the truss rod. Keep that in mind. So that's just a quick primer on flat sawn versus quarter sawn on the necks. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll dive further into subjects like this, but I kind of wanted to go a little left field with a topic, just something that I think about when it comes to looking for guitar necks. So I've got one more example to show you here. This is one of our builds. This is roasted quarter sawn maple. So if you can see very nice straight grains. They're very, very vertical going along with the way that the neck is cut. This is um, just a good example of what what quarter sawn would look like as a roasted quarter sawn. So again, very stable, very nice. Don't have to do a lot to it to keep, keep it kind of in line, if you will, and just makes a good stable neck. Sounds great. And it's very reliable through all sorts of weather and all sorts of changes. So Consider quarter sawn maple if you can. 
Um, not dogging on flat sawn maple because I really like, again, as I mentioned in the beginning, I like the look of some flat sawn stuff as well. So the point is try to find good stuff if you're building. Try to look for some of those things when you're when you're purchasing a guitar. Um, maybe consider if you if you need something that's just going to last and stay for a long time. Consider quarter sawn maple again. That's typically offered in higher guitars. Um, thankfully, we're in a spot where I can get quarter sawn maple for not much more than I can a flat sawn maple. Sometimes your manufacturers will charge you hundreds and hundreds of extra dollars, which I don't necessarily think is fair sometimes for the guitar player. But that's kind of the way it goes in the industry. You're gonna you're gonna see that a lot. And then I will show you a flat sawn. So this is a 98 American Standard Strat. You can see on the back there, you can see the flat sawn. So, so wider grain patterns down in here. I'll see if I can find it, so it show up on the camera. Down in here, you'll see kind of more wavy patterns on that. Hopefully that shows up with a gloss finish on there. You can see a little bit more wavy grains right there. Now, how I know this is flat sawn is, is telltale sign those wavy grains. But then as I look, as I rotate this, you're gonna see on the corner, hopefully this shows up on the camera, so I'm not. But along the edge now of the fretboard, you can see that that telltale sign of the, the quarter sawn maple. So, so meaning this is the way that it was cut on a log, basically lopped off this way, as opposed to hitting the center of the quarter of that neck. So two examples, both great necks, um, both feel really good and maybe uh, more interesting looking grain patterns if you like that, but consider that all those factors that whether you're building a guitar or whether you're shopping for a guitar. Thanks for watching.